The Essex River Cultural District, it's just a very small, compact area that's very unique with its landscape and what it has to offer. The beauty that draws people is um, pristine and it's just absolutely inspiring. We have an amazing Paint Essex event that we do, or a plein air, every year and at least 100 artists attend. There's a real pull to the land and the landscape here and there's a very strong and dedicated art community and the experience is one where people can enjoy nature and enjoy the work inspired by nature. The Cox Reservation has been a place where the artist community came together almost 30 years ago to create an event that would highlight the art that was produced here, but also give back to Greenbelt and the fact that they were using this property as their inspiration. So they created Art in the Barn. Over 150 artists come together to bring paintings of all kinds, prints, photography, sculpture, pottery, jewelry. And we bring a lot of different types of art together. The shipbuilding in itself is an art and that's got its own history and everything and there's, there's ways to participate in that. You can go see boats being rebuilt right now. It is said that Essex built more two-masted fishing schooners than any time in the world. Over the course of its history, some 350 plus almost 400 years now, this town built 4,000 vessels. The Essex Shipbuilding Museum is centered on what is really, in many respects, still a working shipyard. While many of our programs are related to shipbuilding, we also have opportunities for local artists to execute works here, show works here, and actually have small presentations here. You can step back in time and experience over 300 years of Essex history. A brochure and map will guide you to 16 interpretive signs on the historic Essex walking tour. We are the only historic house museum in Essex, and when you visit this house, you're seeing their life among their collections. The collections are amazing and surprising, and they have a real life to them that you don't always see in some of these really finely tuned pieces of furniture or portraits. You know, there's a, there's a kind of a gritty reality to these pieces that is really appealing to people. Any type of creative person or even non-creative person can enjoy this. You really have to experience it. It can change you.